Hey everybody, I'm Shane Benedict with Native Watercraft and I'm here to introduce to you the all new Slayer Propel 10 LTE. The whole concept behind the Slayer LTE design was to make something light, easy to handle, something you can throw in the back of a pickup, actually car top it, but yet keep it smart, you know, make it upgradable, make it so you have all the features that you need to outfit it however you like. Let's now go through the entire boat, bow to stern, and we can kind of look at all the features that we have in the LTE. Starting at the front, we've got a handle, obviously, so you can lift the thing up, but it's also a groove track, so you can add accessories, you know, whatever you might want to mount on the front. While we're up here, we can look at the hull. The very front has a sharp entry point, so it makes the boat glide. It also makes it a quieter ride, but then that hull flares out, which pushes the water away from the cockpit rim making it a drier ride. Moving back we've got the bow hatch obviously we tried to maximize the size of it so that we had as much internal storage as possible and then we locked the hatch down with these twist locks. The twist locks actually hold down the bow hatch and the propel drive and then you can see these crazy little features. This is actually an attachment point for the Yak Attack lock and load base which allows you to add all types of accessories. For example our captain's bridge locks right in there so you can mount monitors or whatever you want to. If you do have monitors up there there's also another cool feature is this sort of a wiring pass through. There's a foot loop here that holds the wire down and then passes it underneath the hatch and it can go internally so you can run your wiring throughout the boat or to a battery that might be in the front hatch. Talking about electronics, we also, in the hull of the boat, we have a transducer pocket where you can mount your transducer and then the wiring can be routed up into the boat and also back into the bow hatch. And then we come to the Propel. It's the heart and soul of a native watercraft boat. There's a few things that I really love about it. The starter is it's bomber. This thing will hold up to just about anything. We make it right here in the United States. It also comes with a five-year warranty and it's instant forward and reverse. You want to go forward, you pedal forward. If you want to go backwards, you pedal backwards. It's just simple and it works. And then you can see around this entire boat, there's groove track everywhere. So mounting accessories wherever you need to is really made simple by the groove tracks. On the sides, you can see we actually have one handle on the outside edge, but there's also a handle underneath the groove track. Those double handles make it super easy to manage. As we look into the cockpit, you can see actually on the side walls, we've got two screws on either side and those allow you to mount foot steering control controls. So if you were to mount a motor, you can actually steer the motor with your feet. Moving back, you can see foot pads. They're not just for padding your feet. They also sort of quiet the boat. So if you're standing or you were to drop something on the floor of the boat, it would help keep it quiet. You'll also see this crazy little thing, and that's actually the uphaul downhaul line for the rudder. You pull that, drop it into the jam cleat, hold your rudder up, or you lift it and drop your rudder down. And then on the other side of the seat, this is actually the steering handle for the rudder. So you can kind of go where you want to. And then we come to the first class seat. You know, the, the important things about it is that it's ultra adjustable. You can adjust the back for a comfortable position for that. You can slide it forward and back to match your leg length, just to optimize your ergonomics while pedaling or fishing for a full day. In the LTE, we have the high seat. That also gets you up a little bit higher, allows you to stand more easily. Moving over to the side next to the seat is a forward facing rod holder. That forward facing rod holder actually extends the rod forward so that then you can manage lures or fish as you're dealing with them, you can put it there so you don't have to manage the rod at the same time. Behind the seat, we come to the tank well. It's actually capable of taking the full 16 by 16 black pack, or it can take a smaller black pack or any kind of crate along with a battery that could be stored in the back. We've got the bungee setup with Omni hooks that really maximize hold down on the crates or any kind of crate system that you have. On either side, we've got half paddle storage. You break your paddle apart and store the two halves on either side here. And then also in this tank well, we've got two rear facing rod holders. So literally off the shelf, you can take this boat and be fishing. Back at the very back of the boat, you can see there's also a lot going on here. There's an internal storage compartment with a storage bucket that you can put different things in. It also gives you access to the inside of the kayak if you want to route things through the boat. And then next to the hatch in the center of the boat is the, the head of the spring blade rudder. One of the things I love about the spring blade. When you drop it down to the vertical position, it really helps the boat track in a true way. And then next to that is the PowerLink electronics plate. Cool thing about that is it allows you to run wiring throughout the boat without having to drill a hole in your kayak. And then moving back from there, the square raised section is actually a structural spot for you to mount a motor, power pole, or any other accessories you want to mount on the back of the boat. And then again, at the very back, we've got a groove track that's double handles that helps you with moving the kayak around 
around. And then after going over all of those deck features, I would like to go back to the hull. And that's something that we worked really hard on to maximize the stability. We really drew the chines out, squaring them out so that you felt optimum stability for a 10 foot package. It's a super stable little boat. But also under the hull, as we go to the back end, we've got our stern keel, which helps with tracking and we added a skid plate, which protects it if you're moving it across the ground. So that covers the details of the Slayer LTE, except for one thing, the LTE comes in four different colors. This one's called Andros Green. This is Hidden Oak. This is Sublime. And the last color is Wave Strike. And as you can see, this one is tricked out. That's the whole focus of the LTE design. We wanted to take everything that we had in the Slayer Propel, light, easy to handle, easy to transport, but then add in all the possibilities, all the accessorization you can do. Basically do anything you wanna do in fishing in a small, tight package.